This is Leonardo Gugliari with IIC. We're gonna go over some basic techniques for clipper cutting. This is the wall clipper. As you can see, you have a level here. When the lever is up in this position, your blades are very tight together. When the blade is, when the levers pull down, your blades are more open. This allows you to have more hair go through the area, easier to cut. This is your attachment, your number three attachment. Place the attachment, and here click. We're gonna start with the nape area. You start at the bottom, and you work your way up slightly. Do not follow the head shape. Pull away from the head as you're moving up. So you start at the bottom, and as you can see, you pull away from the head. Take your time, don't rush through it, because it may take a few times to go through it to cut all the hair. When you finish with number three, you lift it up from the back here, now disengage it, and you go with the, the number two. You put it in there, here you click. And now we're gonna do the same thing, but instead of going all the way up, we're gonna go pretty much about the middle of the year in the same C motion. So you go from the bottom and you scoop it out, just like so. You're dealing with less hair now, so it's easier to go through the haircut. It's a C, not an L. It's a gradual scoop, so it's not fast like that. It's just gradual. You start at the bottom, and slightly you pull away from the head shape. Start from the bottom, and as you can see, you pull away from the head shape. When you finish with number two, again, we press from the bottom, and we get the number one attachment. Place it, here you click. Now in this time, we're gonna go even lower. We go at like an inch, into inch and a half from the hairline. You start at the bottom. And now the C movement is much quicker. You may have to bend your knees at this time. This allows you to have a beautiful taper without any lines. When you finish on the back, do the same thing on the side here. By you, you angling the clipper at 45 degrees to allow a taper to be from the side also. Once we're done with this, we'll remove number one. And now we have the original blade, remember? We're gonna move the lever all the way down so you can open up the blade. Now we're gonna go freehand and just go on the very perimeter to blend that in to make it more of a smoothness. It's a very short C movement. Once you finish that, we're gonna lift the lever up by making the blades closer together. And we're gonna do one more time at the bottom. This allows you to have a nice fade, nice taper. Okay, now we're doing the clipper overcome technique. We're gonna make sure that the, la the lever's all the way down as to make the blade open. You're gonna hold the comb in this manner so you're able to go up with the comb and then down with the comb. So you, you switch it, you move your fingers up and down. The comb is gonna give you the length of the haircut. The clipper's gonna cut whatever you give it. So in this case, we're gonna start and comb the hair down, lift up to put the comb in at 45 degrees, and you go with the clipper. The clipper's gonna be flat on the comb. It won't be like this, it won't be flying up in the air. It's going to be resting on the comb. When you do the comb of clipper or comb technique, 
do not put too much pressure on the comb because then it's gonna make you have an indentation in the haircut. So you're gonna lift up the hair and then nice and softly, you place the clipper over your comb. Don't rush through it because if you do, you're gonna skip areas and it's gonna cause to have hairline, to have lines. So go nice and slowly. You lift the comb and you pass the clipper. The comb is gonna give you the length. In this case, you're gonna comb the hair down, place a clipper over your comb. You can also piggyback the clipper to the comb or the clipper follows the comb. As you can see, your comb gradually comes off the head. Now you can go freehand by placing your thumb on top of the clipper and you're gonna scoop it out. Now I'm gonna hold the clipper at 45 degrees angle. You can go over the whole haircut with this technique. Make sure that everything blends in. So the idea is to go from shorter to longer. So then that's the technique for the clipper over comb. We're gonna go over some techniques today, clipper and razor techniques. I'm gonna start with the attachment, number three. We start from the bottom up. The clipper gradually comes off the head. This is a level three guard. Now I'm gonna switch from number three to number two guard. With the number two guard, I'm gonna go from the pretty much the cyber area to about this area to fade it into the, the longer length on top. This is called the C motion. You scoop it out just like so. Once I'm done with that section, I'm taking the number one guard. And I'm gonna work on the very low section. This gives you a nice fade, a nice taper. You're still doing the C motion. We start at the bottom and you scoop out slightly. As you can see, it gives you a nice graduation. Around the, the ear, we tilt the ear down, angle the clipper at a 45 degree, and just connect the back area with the sides. As you can see, we're working on the lower section. We're not going all the way up, just the very bottom. If you see that doesn't blend correctly, you go back to the higher level, in this case, I'll go to number two. And then reconnect the very low section to the upper section. As you can see, we did the taper from like level one to level three. It's a nice taper. On this side, I will use clipper over comb technique, a little bit more advanced technique achieving the same goal. The clipper follows the comb.
The comb gives me the length that I need. So start very low, gradually pulling away from the head shape with the comb to achieve the taper look. As you can see, the idea is to keep the hair shorter to longer. Now I'm gonna connect both sides with the back. The clipper follows the comb. The comb is what gives you the length. I'm going freehand and just tapering the very perimeter. As you can see, the clippers angled at 45 degrees. We're gonna use our trimmers now. They're very narrow and very thin. So you go ahead and make the outline of the neck. You lightly press. We're able to switch the blade around and make the line for the, this is called the candy cane effect. I will now get a piece of wet cotton, moist the perimeter. This is your barber razor, the razor that's being used to shave the perimeter around the hairline. As you can see, the blade is much smaller. It's a small blade. So the way you want to change the blade is by lifting up on the, on the lever. As you can see. Remove the blade from the lever. That is the blade that you'll be replacing with. That blade comes in a two, like in double blade. You fold it in half, rip the other half, open the paper, the package, open the package, align the grooves from the blade to the grooves and the lever. Make sure it's straight. Reinsert the lever into the razor. When doing so, make sure the blade is straight. Place your pinky in the pinky rest, and the next two fingers go above the, the razor, and your thumb goes just like so. We start in the nape area. We put a place our thumb, and you hold the razor lightly, pulling up with your thumb. The razor is held at a 45 degree angle. If you hold it at 90 degree, what you do you're scraping. You're not cutting anything, so it has to be 45 degrees so you can take some hair out. I 
place my thumb. And at the same time, simultaneously, I, I lift up the scalp and I go down with the razor. That, that makes it able for you to have a nice sharp line. As you can see, you have a nice, clean candy cane effect. Go to the other side. Once the, the cutting with the clipper is done, I'm taking the hair down. I'm going to use the razor to blend the bottom with the top of the hair. It's also going to have a disengagement on the top by keeping this area all long and then becoming gradually shorter towards the back area. When using the razor, the hair needs to be very moist. This is the cutting blade. It's a hair cutting blade. As you can see, it's much wider than the shaving razor blade. Now to change the blade, you're gonna lift up on the black insert, remove the insert, Inside you will find the old blade. Remove the old blade. As you can see the new blade, you break it in half and you tear it apart. You separate it. Make sure you apply the, the blade in the connection points. By doing so, you have a nice straight blade. You close in the black insert and insert it back into the razor. As you can see, the blade is straight. Now the razor is ready to be used. This razor is for cutting, hair cutting, not for shaving. The way it's held is by putting the pinky in the bottom of the razor, your thumb goes in the pivot, and the other two fingers are left on top, with the third finger, the, the index finger, being able to be lifted up. So you're gonna hold the comb and the, sh and the razor in the same hand. You're gonna comb the hair, pick up the hair, place your comb by your thumb, and then you're ready to work. Take your next section. Give a nice clean parting. Come the hair down. If you feel your hair is too thick still, we're gonna be doing a razor over comb technique. We're gonna comb the hair down and the razor is being placed above the comb slightly and it actually helps you remove bulk and blend as you can see this type of technique allows you to keep the hair longer but yeah, everything blends in with the nape area. So I'm directing all the hair back with no elevation. So you have the length longer, it gets gradually shorter towards the back area here. Take the next section, bring it back. Again, no elevation. At this point, you're just trimming off the ends. You never raise it from the frontal hairline. 
if you raise her in this area, the hair will just stick up. So bring your hair down, and just reshaping the length. So now we'll do some air forming through the use of air wrapping. Just lifting the hair up with the brush, give it some shape and direction, and then give it a little movement right in the frontal area. Make sure you have a nozzle in your dryer at all times. Here's the, the, the microwave fiber. Lather into your hands and just work it into the hair. This hairstyle is very versatile. He can scrunch it to the side, he can go straight back with it, all different ways. As you can see, with the clipper on the, bait, on the bottom and the razor work on the top, we were able to achieve a beautiful look by having a nice shortness with the length long on top, yet still blends in. Slightly undercut in the frontal area, but able to blend in from the back.